Hi Capricorn, this is your reading for the second half of February and I'll be starting off by um, from mid-February to the end what is the other person that you're dealing with? What are they thinking? What are their feelings towards you in terms of love and romance? Um, I usually do a prayer so I will be doing that as well. Kind of whisper my prayers. Alrighty. So I hope you guys are doing well. Um, for the second half of February, dear Archangel Michael. Wow, love. Please let me know what the other person is feeling and thinking for Capricorn for the second half of February. Okay. There's two cards. It's coming here. Awakening. Embracing the shadow. Creativity. Pleasure. Beauty. Home and hearth. Betrayal. Yikes. Shape shifting. On the bottom of the deck is pleasure. So, Capricorn, um, what's happened is the person that you're dealing with is starting to awaken. Uh, they're realizing new things, they're becoming a bit more wiser, something that they didn't think about before. They're starting to think of that situation in a new light. Um, embracing the shadow. So, basically what's happening is that they are now trying to come to terms as to what happened between both of you. And they want themselves to get over it. They want you to get over it. They want to create something with you as well. They want to create something brand new with you because in their heart and in their mind, they do feel that there's a lot of pleasure that they gain uh, being in your company. There's a lot of pleasure in this relationship. There's a lot of, um, there's a lot of love, not, not really love, but there's there's something in this connection that makes them feel that it's very not celestial. I can't say I can't seem to find the word, but it's um it's unlike anything they have experienced. It's very special to them, but they do feel that they've awakened to something that had maybe gone wrong in the past and they want to get over it. Um they do find you beautiful inside and out. They've come to that realization that it's not just about pleasure, it's not just about physical appearances or the physical feeling of being together. It's actually the fact that they think inside and out you are absolutely beautiful. They also feel that with you they feel this um, this grounded feeling of being at home so no matter where they are, no matter what they're doing, when they think of you, they do think of home and hearth. They think of warmth. There is something that they have done. These two cards actually go together very well. Um, not so good in your reading, but betrayal. So they feel that they have somehow betrayed you on some level. Or maybe you have done something that has caused them to think that there's a betrayal. Um, either way, in this relationship, there's a sense of betrayal. And the person that you're dealing with, they may have a choice and they are leaning towards you. They actually want to be with you even though they may be with someone else or they might have another option. Um, <clears throat> and the shape-shifting card for me is usually an affair card. Um, <clears throat> it could be matters of the heart, matter like actual physical, you might have two people in your life. Um, you might be with one, you might be thinking about the other. Um, so Whatever this person has done, it seems as if they're realizing at this point, everything that has happened between you, that it's beyond um, pleasure. It's actually something to do with the heart, feelings, beauty within. And they do feel that there's a sense of betrayal and 
even though society may have other opinions, they still feel that there's a part of them that wants to be with you. Um, under the deck with sensuality, so <clears throat> they do feel, sorry, um, I have congestion. Um, they do feel very much that you are very sensual. There's everything about you, the way you move, the way you look. They just absolutely adore the way you um, carry yourself. So that's the overall feelings that they have for you. And I'm going to put this away. This was the Amy Sophia Maraschensky deck, um, the Oracle Goddess, or the, the Goddess Oracle, sorry. And now I'm just going to use the um, Beginner's Tarot deck. So what I want to know is in the second half of February, what is it that actions they might take? So the Hangman, what actions might the person, Capricorn, is thinking and feeling about? What actions might they take? What actions are they going to take? Let's just find out. What actions are they going to take towards Capricorn? Strength, Six of Cups. I'll take out one more. Ah, too many come out. Oh, okay. One fell out. Oh, wow. Under the deck is Seven of Cups. So, so the first card is the Hangman. So the actions that they may take, um, it's going to be an inaction. Uh, they are just looking at the situation from a different perspective. They don't know what to do exactly. They're waiting to see when the right time would be. Similar to the deck before, um, the Awakening card. So they're just standing, sitting around, maybe observing, seeing how things are going to go. Later on, they will something will change and it will cause them to have strength. That's a strength card. So they're going to have enough strength um, emotionally, physically, spiritually to perhaps approach you or to perhaps get the idea of thinking of approaching you. Either way, there is progress. Six of Cups, that's a beautiful card. So that's, I would say that's like the Twin Flame Soulmate card, um, Memories of the Past, Sweetness, Childhood, Innocence, Love. This person, after they gain the strength to think about you, they think about the past and all the good times you had. They want to be with you because they're longing to be in the past. They want to relive the past again. The memories that they have with you, they do enjoy those. Page of Cups is the next card. So the Page of Cups, in this case, in relation to the Six of Cups, this person is, um, they might be younger than you. Um, they might be even older. However, inside, they might be a bit more immature in their dealings with people in relationships. They want to say sorry, and they may come back to you um, to apologize. They might even um, make a gesture of apology. You could sometimes even see it in someone's eyes. They might not even have to say anything, and you can just tell that this person's feeling really sorry about what they've done. Um, Either way, it does seem as if there may be um, a physical action that's going to be taken because this person is uh, watching, waiting, they're going to gain strength, they're thinking about the past, and they want to apologize. Uh, Seven of Cups. So it does seem that this person is very tempted by the notion or the idea of being with you. They're very tempted and they want to be with you. So um, it does seem as if in the next half of February, there will be progress in terms of that. Um, I'm just going to get some clarifying cards just for some guidance, uh, angel answers. I'm just going to pick three cards in the end just to find out if there's anything in relation to your reading, Capricorn, that you need to know of from the angels. I generally request help from Archangel Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel. They've always been there for me, and I truly believe in them, as does I believe in Jesus. Jesus. I believe in Jesus. I believe in Jehovah. I believe in his God. I believe in a lot of things. Okay. Don't stop. Excellent card. So don't stop what you're thinking, what you're feeling. Keep at it. Whatever you're doing, good. Just don't stop. Helpful people. You may be surrounded by people or you may need to surround yourself by people that will help you in the situation. You may be suffering from heartache, depression, um, anxiety, um, or maybe just um, issues on how to deal in certain relationships. So you may need to get help in regards to that. You'll have helpful people. And of course, um, it's best not to share your stories with too many people, maybe one or two maximum. Try not to have it in a work environment. It's uh, not good. Um, 
somebody that's different and external, somebody that does not have anything to do with, um, somebody that cannot actually backstab you. you. You just have to be careful with the type of people you confide in as well. Next card says wait. So this will be divinely guided. There's going to be divine timing involved. On the bottom of the deck, it says there's something better. So I believe there's just something better than the situation that is right now. You may be dissatisfied with what you have right now. Um, you may be content, maybe. Um, you might also be thinking that there's nothing above this or beyond this. But it does say there's something better. So it seems like there are going to be better things coming in the future, but you're going to have to wait for it. And in the meantime, try to surround yourself by helpful people, get some help, and don't stop. You'll be able to get through this. And that is your reading, Capricorn, for the next half of February. I hope you have a great day, and I hope you have a great rest of the month. Um, take care, God bless, and please do like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I do as well personal readings, and if they dis resonate, if they dis resonate for anybody, um, I'm happy that this reading did. If it did not, then I can only assume that this particular reading was not meant for you. Um, there's plenty of other videos out there that you can watch, and hopefully they can resonate with you. Take care. Bye-bye, guys.